on yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know what they stand for, but it's it's, a, it's their code for how. What's it? Who does that? Uh, search and rescue. And I believe it's it's for marking and collecting gas. Yeah. back here just to take a picture of the clouds yeah so she took this picture and then we had the tornado and then later on she was looking and she said the time stamp on these pictures is 19 minutes apart so this is standing right where we are this is what it looked like that's our fence yeah all these houses and then she stepped out 19 minutes later and it looked like that oh my goodness in 19 minutes yeah wow mm -mm -mm. that's terrible They no, are. we didn't really? know. I was like, they oh. just came, did it, and left and went to the next Very house. Very grateful. That's great. It's amazing. I mean, yeah. it makes you love this community. Yes. Well, I got a call today from uh, New York Times, mm -hmm. and they were trying to pull it out of me, I guess. Of, yeah. How can your community do that? I said, because mm -hmm. we love each other. We swept, swept the floor up yesterday, but we haven't re-swept it. But out here, there's tons of glass in the middle. Okay. Yes. And nails? Well, no, the nails are in the yard. I don't think there'll be nails. Here. Okay. But there is glass. <clears throat> okay. But, I mean, you can look right here and just see. Oh my God! Yeah, I said here. Yeah. I said, where did you be here, guy? I mean, it goes here. It just, it just stayed. It just stayed yep. right down through here, didn't it? Yeah. I'm assuming that had a post in it, stuff, didn't it? Yes. It's gone. Yeah. yeah. And all these were fenced in. Oh yeah, privacy yes, fences everywhere. Fence, yeah. Everything. You, yeah. like, you see that privacy fence back there? Everything. Privacy fences all the way. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, the fence went all the way down. So. Yeah. Amazing. All right. All right. All right. What gets me is I, I flew over it last night or yesterday with Carl, and uh, he just picked up, sat down, and he just kept jumping. Mm -hmm. Because my daughter lives in Whitewood, and there wasn't even, mm -hmm. you know, but then it jumped right over within 25 yards and stopped at a bobcat, hit that, and it went on towards Farville. Yeah. So. Yeah, see, I mean, <clears> this <throat> was a full metal screen porch here. Yeah. And the uh, door's still standing. The, uh, our church <laughs> wasn't hit, no, the back wasn't hit. Then went across the street and almost wiped out uh, Bush Avenue. Yes, mm -hmm. it's bad. Yeah. So. Oh, the window has just been destroyed. It's been totally shattered. The wall is cracked. You can see debris or I don't even know what that is. Just kind of backwash from where the wind was blowing everything in this room. It's terrible. Unbelievable. Right, where the family stayed in the middle of this disaster taking place. One of the only places in the house that's seemingly untouched by this and you can still see remnants of where the wind blew 
debris all over every surface. The upstairs to the room where the steps were, where people were held out in this house, you can see the window's been boarded up, but there are holes next to it. Holes leading to light coming in outside there. While all the electricity here is out, so it's tough to see, the amount of debris on the carpet is unbelievable. Simply unbelievable. To Boy, the, these things can do something else, can't they? To the right, that's, that's you see brick that almost that appears way. to be gray. That's the same color brick is on the left side of the house, by the way. It's, it's been covered in dirt from when the tornado came through. And you can see the amount of power behind those, those terrible winds cracked the brick at the corner. We're trying to go as fast as we can to get it cleaned up. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Our city's also been impressive and showing up to help each other. Yeah, this has been it something is. else. Oh yeah, oh yeah, something else. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, so I was telling these couple down here that <clears throat> New York Times called me and tried to tried to tell me about the COVID and uh, this and stuff. And well, how y'all? We want to know how y'all can do that. So we love each other. <laughs> it's simple. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's right. just the way we do it down here in the south. I don't know about north, but that's the way we do it down here.